Okay, this is for the person that wants to install Cardock. Um, they have a new version now, Cardock 2. So, to install it, you have to go to uh, add the repositories here. So, copy that first line here. This is to add the key. And basically, open your terminal. And uh, control shift V or middle click to paste it. All right. Enter and tell you to type your password or whatever, and just it, right? And uh, the next one is uh, depends what you have. Okay, so we have Jaunty, so we copy this one and open your software sources. And in here, go to uh, third party, right? And add and add the or paste in the line that you just copy add source and that's pretty much it hit close it should update right and after you update it uh, you go to your uh, synaptic here and search for a car dock right and car dock here and just install that one and that's pretty much it you have it installed now to open it you go to um, the menus up top here it should be in your system tools and you have two options the no open geo this is for older cards. Uh, this is uh, with OpenGL. This is a newer card, right? Uh, if you have an old graphic card, use that. Newer graphic card, use this. Okay, depends on you. Now you need the the Composition Manager or Compiz. Okay, so if you don't know how to get those two, watch my other videos on that, and you you need that to uh, to use CarDoc. So uh, this is how CarDoc will look like. Um, it has the fisheye zoom by default, like most. Uh, Docs, okay. So they they have some options in here. Let me see. Let me talk about. Uh, if you right click on this, you have uh, the manage themes. So you have themes in here. The themes are pretty easy to get up and running. All you gotta do is it's uh, the one that says net next to it. That means it's not installed yet. So you have to download it. But basically, all you gotta do is uh, select the one you want. Like let's say uh, this one. And they show you a preview of how it looks like, right? And if you want to install it, uh, hit apply. It should download it and get up and running. Uh, the one that says user uh, is, um, you know, it's already installed. Most people get this uh, doc because they want to emulate the Mac uh, themes. So this is they have the Mac there if you want. Okay. So that is pretty much for the the themings. Okay. Now to add and remove stuff like the custom icons. Uh, all you gotta do is, um, you know, head to your uh, application up top here and drag whatever you want. Like, let's say a uh, calculator or something. Drag it out. Drop it in here. There you go. You have your calculator, right? Now, if you don't like it no more, just take it out, drop it, and it's gone. See? So that's what you can do <laughs> to add and remove stuff, okay? Now, if you want the dock to always uh, be on when you log in, uh, you can do that here. Go to car dock and go to launch car dock on startup, right? Now, if you do that, uh, it'll start up every time you log in, right? And this will be your default dock. But if you want to remove it, just go to startup um, applications, right? And if you don't like it no more, just uh, look for GXL dock or whatever the dock that you open with, no open GL, whatever. So just look for car dock and uh, remove it if you don't like it no more. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, they have some uh, other stuff in here that I want to talk about is uh, some annoyance that I have. So go to car dock and I go to configure and go to the behavior here. Okay, and uh, positions you can select what position you want. Uh, top left, right, you know, whatever. Uh, another one is in the accessibilities. Um, you probably want this one. Keep duck below other windows. Uh, this is this is the uh, the check marker here. That's all you gotta do. And basically, that's what it was gonna do. Is um, let's say you have this window. You see how you maximize it, and uh, this dock is still visible. If you check on that one, uh, this will be invisible, and only when you hover over here, it'll show it again. So it'll get it out of your way, you know. They don't have the other option like an AWN, so that's pretty much what you probably want to do. Okay. 
so it's up to you. And uh, let me see what else is there that I need. Oh yeah, this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, I, I doesn't have any other dock that I've used so far, but let's say this is the the program you're using. Now to close this, you normally have to use the the X button here or whatever, right? But this one you can just highlight the icon down here and uh, middle click on it, and that whole program is gone. See, I like that feature. I wish uh, the other docks adopt that one. Uh, so as far as that, uh, this is um, Card Dock 2. They have some other options in here. Let me see that you might want to try. Now if you show all. It looks more organized, like kind of like uh, the Comp is uh, manager kind of thing. <laughs> But uh, it's still a lot, and this is a, this is too much to talk about. But uh, I'll go over that when I have time. But they do have some integration with uh, Compiz. See, they have the show mouse option and all that. So that's some things that you can try out. Okay, but uh, that is it for Car Doc Two. Yeah, you know how to do the themings and all that now. Okay, so that's it.